The new Bezier Mask Angle Effects plugin in Vegas Movie Studio Platinum makes creating video masks, including masks of complex shapes, easy. Since the tool is an OFX plugin, you have far greater flexibility with the tool and can use it at all levels of effects. To best see the results of the mask you are going to create, add a video clip with a very noticeable object in it to a new project. Now find another video clip that looks very different from the clip you have just added and add it directly below the first clip on a new track in the timeline. Click to place your timeline cursor within the events on the timeline. As usual, you can't see the clip on your lower track because the clip on the higher track covers it, but we'll add a mask so that we can see parts of both clips. Click the Video Effects tab to bring the Video Effects window to the front of the window docking area. Drag the Bezier Masking preset onto the top event in your project. You can immediately see the results in your Video Preview window. Everything in the top video that falls outside of the masking rectangle disappears, and you can see the bottom video showing through the transparent area. You can also see the interactive controls on the video preview window that enable you to resize, reposition, and rotate the mask. Drag any of the corner points to change the size of the rectangle while preserving its aspect ratio. Drag one of the edge points to change the width or height of the rectangle without changing the other, thus changing the mask's aspect ratio. When you have the mask the size you want it, point to an area inside the rectangle, but not on the rotation circle. When your mouse icon changes to a hand, you can drag the box to a new location in your video preview window. Drag the rotation handle to change the angle of the masking area. Notice that the interacts remain in the same angle so that they are always available even if your rotation puts the corner of the mask outside the visible video preview window. Each of these parameters can also be adjusted with exact numbers. Notice that as usual, the Video Event Effects window also opened when you added the effect. There you see headings for the plugin, including General Options and Mask 1. Click the expand arrow for Mask 1 to reveal its parameter controls. Double click the Video Event Effects title bar to expand the window so that it's big enough for you to see all of the parameters. Notice that the Enable button is selected. Deselect the Enable button to turn the mask off. This essentially masks out the entire video. Select the Enable 1 button to turn the mask back on. To change the shape of the mask, select a different option from the Type drop-down list. For now, try all options aside from Curve, which we'll talk about shortly. You already changed the width, height, angle, and location parameters with the on-screen interacts a few moments ago, but you can also use the controls here to adjust those parameters further. The Opacity control enables you to change the opacity of the material inside the mask area so that you can create a semi-transparent effect. Adjust the feather amount to create increasingly softer edges on the mask. Then change the feather style setting to see how the different options affect your mask. When you're done experimenting, set the opacity back to 1.0 and the feather slider back to 0.0 .0 so your mask has a hard edge. We'll talk about the tracking options in another video so we'll skip them for now. Just be aware that you can use the masks you create to track the motion of an object through your video screen, which is a very powerful tool. Go back to the Type drop-down list and let's talk about the Curve option. So far, the masks you've created have a regular defined shape, rectangles, ovals, and diamonds. But sometimes you need a mask that has an odd and often complex shape that might include straight edges and curved sides. To create a mask like that, select Curve from the Type drop-down list. Notice that your mask disappears in the Video Preview window. That's to be expected because you still need to define your custom mask. To do that, you'll use a new set of tools that appear in the Video Effects dialog box, the Edit Mode checkbox and the Edit Tool drop-down list. Notice that the Edit Mode checkbox is already selected, so you are in Edit Mode now. Also, the Edit Tool is set to Add, so you are ready to start adding points to your custom mask. Move your mouse into the Video Preview window and notice that the mouse icon changes to a pen tip. Click in your Video Preview window to create a corner point. That's the first point in your new mask. Move to a different area in the Video Preview window and click again to add a second corner point. A line connects the two points and represents a border of the mask that you are creating. Now point to a new area, but this time click and drag your mouse. This creates a curve point. The point has two handles called tangents, and as you drag the handles, you adjust the shape of the curve between this new point and the previous point. You can create as many points as you want and in this way outline any shape in your video no matter how complex. To finalize the mask shape, click the first point you added. 
While you're still in edit mode, you don't see the video inside the mask. Deselect the edit mode checkbox and now the video shows up in the mask as usual. The real power of the curve type is that you can outline specific objects within a mask. But as you saw a moment ago, while you created your mask, you were not actually able to see the video you were masking, which obviously makes it impossible to create your mask over a specific object. To solve this problem, expand the general options. Now adjust the blend slider. The closer the blend value is to 1.0, the more opaque the video becomes. Set the blend value as high as you need to in order to work effectively with the object you want to mask. Now you can adjust your mask so that it outlines your target object. Select the Edit Mode checkbox again. From the Edit Tool drop-down list, select Normal. With this tool, you can drag your curve points to new locations. So drag your existing points so that they outline your target object. If you find that you have a corner point where you really need a curve point, double-click the corner point. This converts it to a curve point, and you can now use the handles to adjust the curves. If you want to convert a curve point to a corner point, Drag one of the curve handles so that it sits directly on top of the point. Choose Split from the Edit Tool drop-down. If you decide that you need to adjust one of the curve handles without adjusting the other curve handle, click the curve handle you want to adjust with the Split tool. Now you can adjust one without adjusting the other. If you decide you don't need a point that already exists, choose Delete from the Edit Tool drop-down list and click the point. Once you've made all of the adjustments that you want to your curve, make sure to set the blend amount back to 0.0, .0 so that your project doesn't render with an opaque setting, unless of course you want it to. Deselect the Edit Mode checkbox. Finally, instead of using the Bezier Masking plugin to mask out video, you can use it to mask any video effects that you apply to your video. For example, maybe you want to pixelate a face or other objects so it can't be recognized in your video. Let's pixelate the object in the mask you've already created. Go back to the Video Effects window and drag the Pixelate thumbnail onto the Video Event Effects window's effect chain so that it sits just before the Bezier masking plugin already in the chain. Adjust the pixelization amounts until you can no longer identify the details of the face or other object you're masking. Now you have a masked video which has been pixelated, but what you really want is an entire video with just the area inside the mask pixelated. To accomplish that, click the Bezier Masking box in the Video Effects chain. Then select the Mask Effects checkbox. Close the Video Event Effects window and you have your final result, a clear video with just the portion inside your mask pixelated.